I'm Niv. I'm a socially engaged artist and an Ayurvedic healer. My practice and my work currently thinks about the reinstatement and renewal of indigenous spiritual knowledge as ways to heal fractured relationships between us, ourselves, us in the community, us in the land. I center reciprocity and dialogue in my practice and I walk across mediums. I use mediums depending on the beings with whom I'm working with. So in the decomposing guava, for example, which is one of the um, videos in this piece, I use guavas, cultural analysis, essay, to think about and interrogate established forms of social order. I've also worked with performance, um, of course, video, sound, collaboration, architecture, my grandmother's beetroot toran, so uh, community service, um, and all these mediums really to imagine and express alternative forms of kinship um, and create spaces of togetherness for my community and especially thinking about the, the critical crises that we are as a global community. I am originally from Mangalore, India, but I work and I collaborate across the world. This movement of mine has required me to practice and think about tools for placemaking and homemaking and thinking about the potential of a place. How do I raise the capacity and the vitality of the place that I'm in? This has required ancestral spiritual practices as well as land acknowledgement practices. Um, and it ties directly into this piece, which is called Home is a Practice. And I really am thinking about how do we situate ourselves in place? How do we learn the language of land? How do we connect with humans and non-humans in our circles to create more generous ways of being and living? In this piece, I have four videos. Uh, one is the decomposing guava, in which I arrive at these guavas that are abundantly falling around my home in San Rafael in Colombia, which was where I was based right before this. And I come to them and I appreciate them for, for all the care that they're giving me, but I also recognize them as, as um, vital kin, as vibrant matter, as a site of interspecies collaboration, as a counter aesthetic. Most people look away from rot, from decomposition. I look towards it. And what does that mean? What, what are things that can teach us? What, how can the decomposing guava teach us? So by creating a regular practice of photographing these decomposing guavas, stitching them together, writing about them, um, I came to this piece. Uh, another two of the videos are from a larger collaborative piece called Besitos, um, in which I invite four friends and prior collaborators from afar to invite me to map my new neighborhood of San Rafael, Colombia, through the unique lens of their artistic disciplines. So one of them is an architect, one of them is a dancer, one of them is a documentary artist. And they give me specific instructions in Spanish, which is their native tongue, not mine. And I'm in San Rafael, existing in the space of misunderstanding. So they invite me in their native tongue to map San Rafael. And I ruminate on their instructions and through performance, text, film, I come up with some responses. And two of those responses are in this piece. And the fourth is collab which is also a collaborative piece in which me and a peer speculate on what would the ideal place for us as two peers in CCA to come together and work, play, offer services to our community. What, what would that place look like? And so we, through a long process of breathing and visualizing and creating value systems together, create this collab, um, which is built on values of reciprocity, mutualism, interdependence, restorative justice. Um, and it also includes architecture, essay, video. And then I have two zines here. 
One is Seed Play and Unite, which was born from a series of workshops led by First Nations and Indigenous facilitators in Eora Nation, which is another place I was based in um, through COVID in Sydney, Australia, where artists from across the world think about ways in which we seed intention, we disrupt through play, and we unite with the self and with the land. And so this is one, and the other is from another collaborative uh, piece called Weave the People, um, in which we think about civic action through ritual and through performance.